Now meow, everyone, it's Shadow Cat here. Yay, we're gonna do more of Not It Spooky's Edition. See if I can try and get more uh, endings. Because uh, the gallery here uh, is missing one, two, three, four on the first page. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six on this page, which apparently amounts to 10. Okay, so first off, uh, don't forget to hit that like button also subscribe so we can reach 40 subscribers. Yeah, and if you don't, potion tier. Yeah. Meow 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 meow. <laughs> There's not much longer of days in October, so I'm going to try and finish these games out I have. These last two games I have on me. I'll try and finish them out if I can. We'll see how it goes. But no promises. Oh, right. That's right. I forgot what the... Uh... Yes, here it is. Found it. So this is where I need to start from. So... Instead of splitting up um, we're gonna do this split up. Willow opens the door and marks staff while I head up to the staircase instead. Upstairs, all is quiet. That's strange. Where can they be? Where can they be? Is anyone up here? Once the room doors opens, one of the room doors opens and Rita looks out. Did something happen downstairs? Got worried about how long you were taking. I'm so sorry. There's nothing to worry about. Right. She leaves the room, and a moment later, she's followed by Vinny, a man, a man in a police uniform, and an older man who they are supporting between them. Frank, he's the innkeeper. Hurt himself and couldn't leave. So Officer Mark was trying to help him. Oh. I understand you folks have had some trouble with the door. Yeah. That's right. Fortunately, Frank here has the key. <laughs> Fortunately, yeah. No idea how you could have gotten locked in. Doesn't make any sense at all. Right. Thanks to our new friend, we should be able to get Frank downstairs despite his new plan. Yeah. I thought my day would end up going like this. Frank opens the door. We can all get out together and escape. Right. Oh, God, no. All right, more outcomes. Jesus Christ. All right. Okay, five, right? Yeah. We have enough cars. Aren't you worried one of us is possessed? That's great news. Um, let's start with this one. Is there a problem with cars? All sorts of terrible things have happened. But since we have Vinny's car and Officer Mac's car, we can all leave. Assuming both cars are still running by the time we get out, out of here. Feeling much better than before, I lead the way back downstairs. An empty lobby greets me. A willow? A Joseph? Silence. First Joseph disappeared and now Willow is nowhere to be found either. As Vinny and Mike help Frank down, down the steps, Rita catches up with me. Where are the others? I don't know. Joseph went through the door Mark's staff looking for a hammer, and Willow went after him when he didn't come back. Maybe they're still in here. From the nerves, edge in their <laughs> edge to her voice, she imagined something much worse. We walked to the 
we walk in the door together and open it. it turns out to be a large dark storage area. There's no sign of movement. Hello? Willow? Hey, Joseph? There's no answer. I back away from the door and let it swing shut. Where could they be? Are you saying there were more people with you, but they've gone missing? Yeah. Yes, Joseph and Willow were down here. Place is locked, right? They have to be here somewhere. Right. Uh, Rhea and I check the common area, dining area, and kitchen. Calling out to them each time, but there's still no sign of them anywhere. At least we've returned to the lobby. I don't like this. Me neither. Is it the curse? But that would mean one of us is possessed and responsible for whatever happened. No luck. Not yet. I'm afraid we have more bad news. The door is stuck. What? It's not locked. You broke it. Excuse me? Oh, I tried the key. Nothing happened. The door is broken. Uh... This is just bad luck. Possible. Any door can break. Yeah. Mine never broke before. We certainly had an unusual string of bad luck today, and on Halloween of all days. <laughs> that adds a complication. To what? What is it? I've seen enough over the years to make me believe the curse is real. If Matthew Hayers possessed someone, he wouldn't just trap us somewhere. I would just skip all this, but it's part of the this part of the line. Are you saying the saboteur has to be someone in the inn? Wouldn't we have noticed what they were doing? Even though it does like dip into the the main line. There was a brief period of time where we were distracted talking to Vinny. Distracted, yeah. I let's call we it. All sit down and talk this over calmly. The best thing we can do is keep an eye on one another until morning comes. What about the other two? What about Willow and Joseph? Yeah, really. <laughs> Not like I can go looking for them. Leaving him alone at a time like this would be irresponsible. I really think we need to talk this all out and then begin our search. Right. He hails Frank into the inn's common area and they sit down together. Sounds good to me. Those two probably just went off somewhere. Right. What if they're in trouble? I'm going to go look for them. What? Uh. <laughs> uh. Mm. <laughs> I'll come back to this. Uh. I'm going to go with her for the time being. I'll go with you. Thank you. While the others begin to discuss, begin their discussion, Rhea and I leave to conduct a more th thorough search. The dining area is empty, so is the kitchen. I notice I have, I'd have noticed if they went upstairs behind me. So where could they be? What's that door over there? At the back of the kitchen, there's a plain wooden door. I open it and peer inside. Looks like a place for storing canned goods. It's pretty big. Yeah. Could they be in there? Hello? Willow? Joseph? Are you in there? There is no answer. The room is still empty. Hmm. Nothing. Weird. I don't like this. Where could they be? I really thought they'd be in the, in the storage room, but I guess not. Uh, 
Uh, I don't want to jump to conclusions so quickly, so... I'll hold off on the uh, dead thing. Uh... Wouldn't they have heard us talking? I don't know. That is the last place they went, though. Well, I suppose we ought to take a look. I hope they're all right. We head back to the way we came. Stay in alert for any sign of them as we enter the lobby, the second of voices from the common area. Rose's anxiety somewhat. I open the door of my staff and look inside. It's a large dark room. I turn on the lights, but the bombs are barely shooting anything. Joseph! Silence. I suppose we'll have to search it. Yeah. <laughs> Together, we enter the storage room and walk towards the back carefully, not to trip. Behind us, the door swings shut, leaving us in near darkness. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Hello? Maybe they aren't in here either. Then where? My foot bumps something and I trip. Stumbling, I regain my balance just in time to avoid falling. Are you okay? Yes, I... I look down to see what I tripped over. A long, sharp, soft shape. Just barely visible in the dim light. Yeah, of course. A leg. God, wow, okay. <laughs> I follow the leg up to the body it belongs to and stare at Willow's sightless face. Her head lying in a pool of blood spreading from her cracked skull. Wow, Jesus. Willow! Wow, that's a that's a picture. <laughs> I drop into a crouch beside her, but I can tell it's too late. She's dead. What? No, no, this is impossible. How? I had to do it. That's a hammer. I'm gonna hammer do that much damage, Jesus. I'm gonna have a lot of force to do that. I spring to my feet at his voice whisper. Joseph stands in the fairest corner of the room, holding a bloody hammer. It was her. I had to do it. It was self-defense! Sure. <laughs> Joseph, are you saying Willow was possessed? Yes. Uh, uh, for now, I'm just going to believe him. I'll come back to the don't believe thing. All right. I believe you. Who said is against the wall? You do? You really do? I don't think you would have killed her without provocation. Provocation? Wow, that's a bird. Yes, under the circumstances, we have to trust one another. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Jeez, I wonder what we'd do if he actually said don't. We'll find out later. Leave <laughs> the hammer here and to talk to the others, okay? Okay. Okay. He puts the hammer down and shuffles after us as we leave the storage room. We need to get back to the others and tell them what happened. Tell them, right. <laughs> 
we return. The others are still in the common area, much to my relief. Joseph, but where's Willow? Uh, before either Rita and I can say anything, Joseph draws a shuddering breath and staggered forward. It was her! She's the one! I had to kill her in self-defense! You're saying that nice girl tried to kill you? Yeah. He's saying she was possessed because of the curse. Willow didn't do it herself. <laughs> then he narrows his eyes. I suspect he doesn't quite believe in the curse. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over! <laughs> Unfortunate way to end it, but at least we can relax now. <laughs> sure. Yes, he can't possess two hosts in a single night. That's it! Uh... One person is dead and we're still trapped, but everyone's happy now. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Curse can't touch us anymore. Plus, we're at my inn with plenty of food and rooms for everyone. Yeah. The mood in the room has definitely lifted, but all I can think about is Willow lying dead in the storage room and Joseph wearing, swearing she tried to kill him. The night. That night, Frank gives us all rooms at the inn, joking that they are free and free of charge due to the circumstances. I lock my door, but I still can't sleep. Will it really be? Will it really all over tomorrow? Until Halloween, anyway. The memory of tripping over Willow's body makes me feel sick. I keep thinking about Joseph, too. He would have killed us if we didn't accept his story. I'm sure of it. Yeah, we'll find out. He, he had looked completely deranged in the storage room. Terrified. Yes, but also murderous. Did Willow really try to kill him? I double check my lock, but I still can't relax. It's a long, tense night. Just as I finally drift into a s shallow sleep, I scream. A scream rings out. What? And a gunshot. Pierces the silence. Oh, Jesus. I sit straight up, heart pounding. <laughs> A second gunshot follows it. Wow. Oh no. It was supposed to be over. What now? Okay, yeah, I'll, uh. Boop. Yeah, find out what's going on. I need to find out what's going on. I jump out of bed and I run to the door. I brace myself then throw it open. Two bodies lie on the ground. Who's he? Oh, that's uh, Finny, I think? I don't know. One of them is Joseph. A knife lies by his outreached hand. The other is Vinny. Oh <laughs> no, Vinny. The other is Vinny, some distance away. A gun rests on the floor. Oh, I can barely see it. That's that's a good angle, actually. I can barely see it. <laughs> I 
standing over them is Mike. His own gun still in his hand. He turns around. My chest constructs. What happened? This was Vinny's room, so my guess is Joseph got paranoid and came here and attacked him. And Vinny shot him. He holsters his gun and turns back to face the two bodies again. There's nothing we can do about it now. I suggest you try to get some sleep. Morning will be here soon. Right. I step back towards the door and hesitate. Both bodies have gunshot wounds. Joseph's knife is clean. Either Vinny shot Joseph and then Mike shot him, or Mike shot both of them. I'm starting to feel feel as paranoid as Joseph, but what if Mike plans to kill all of us? Frank would surely give him the keys if I asked. He could unlock any of our rooms. If I leave him here, what would happen? My gaze goes to Vinny's abandoned gun. It skated far enough from his body that I could grab it. I have a little bit of shooting experience, but only from a short range. Okay. As much as I don't want to, I kind of have to for the first time around. Oop. I lunge at Vinny's gun and grab it. Mike whirls around. What are you doing? I know you killed Vinny. Maybe Joseph too. I can't trust you now. Not tonight. You think I'm possessed? I don't know what to believe anymore. Mike reaches for his gun, but I fire first. Uh. Oh. My shot hits him in the arm. <laughs> my arm shoots him in the... My shot hits him in the arm. And he falls back. I steady my arm and fire again. This time, the shot takes him to the chest. One more shot. Shot the sheriff, yeah. <laughs> One more shot does it. Keeping the gun with me for protection, just in case I head back to my room. I can't believe I just shot a man. And a police offer of that at that. What is this night doing to me? I don't get much sleep for the rest of the night. When morning comes, I wake up Rita and Frank and explain them to them what happened. During the night, Mike killed Vinny, and maybe Joseph as well. He would have killed me too, so I had to defend myself. Oh no. Mike? So it was him all along. Never would have figured it. Yeah. At least we're still alive. We survived the curse. Right. Yeah? This is what I like. Okay. This is what I want to see. Uh, I don't believe you. Let's see what happens. You don't believe me? You don't believe me? Yeah, we're raising the charge towards us. If it's not her, then is it you? Rita grabs my arm and yanks me back towards the door. He races, we race to the exit and make it just out ahead of Joseph. We slam the door shut, but he throws himself against the side, against the other side with a wild cry. Keep the door shut for just a moment while I get the key. She races away while I lean against the door and 
listen to Joseph sobbing on the other side. He killed Willow, but his fear was, but his fear has left him broken. We need to return for a moment with the set of keys. She locks the door. I can't believe that just happened. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's the one. Maybe he'll be better in the morning. Maybe. We need to get back to the others and tell them what happened. Right. When we return to the others. When we return to the others, he's still in the common area, which is a relief. To my relief. Did you find them? <laughs> yes, but. <laughs> Voice cracks and she starts what sobbing. What happened out there? Uh, Joseph killed Willow. He claims it was self-defense, but we have reason to doubt that. Hey. What did you need my keys for? We locked Joseph in the storage room after he tried to attack us. Yeah. He must be the one then. Must be. Well, thank God that's over. Is it, is it really? From the way you described it, either Willow was possessed and attacked him, or Joseph was and attacked her. Either way, it's over now. <laughs> sure. Is it really that simple? Uh, I don't mean to cut the celebration short, but we're still trapped. At least we're stuck in it in. <laughs> we got food and enough rooms for everyone. Yep. The one, two, three, four, five of us. <laughs> the mood in the room. The mood in the room has definitely lifted. But I can't bring myself to celebrate when I remember what we went through to get here. The night Frank gives us all his rooms in the inn, joking that you know, free and charged due to the circumstances. Uh, I locked the door, but I can't sleep. Uh, will it really end tomorrow? Blah, 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 blah. I don't need to listen to all this again. I'm not sure what possibility frightens me more. It's a long, tense night. Every noise startles me. Maybe I managed to get a little sleep, but not much. Even once midnight passes and Halloween is officially over, I can't relax. Even morning arrives and as I'm still alive, I brace myself to face whatever might have happened during the night. Everyone else is still alive, much to my relief. With the arrival of morning, everyone begins to return to town. Uh, stay there and hope for the best, yeah. Let's do it this one. The safest option right now is to stay right here, behind the locked door. I remain anxious and tense during the night, but there is still... But there are no further sounds of a struggle. Whatever it is, it's over. I don't get a wink of sleep that after that. When morning arrives, I brace myself to face whatever might have happened during the night. Downstairs in the lobby, Rita and Mike are standing by the door. I'm sure someone will be here soon. 
now that Halloween is over. Good. Once they get the door open, I'll need someone to help Frank, too. I don't think I can help him down the stairs alone. <laughs> yeah. His words send the chill through me. <laughs> what happened? They both lit up their gazes sober. I'm glad you're okay, Katie. Joseph attacked Vinny during the night. They're both dead. Right. What? It's hard to say exactly what happened. My guess is Joseph became paranoid that Willow wasn't the possessed one after all, and targeted Vinny. <laughs> Unless Vinny was actually the possessed one. Who knows? Either way, it's over now. Right. Over. It's over, sure, but at what cost? Soon people began returning to town. They were able to break us out of the inn. Much to my relief. Personally, I don't plan to stick around much longer. Let's go to this one. Uh, let's not shoot him this time. Leave the room. Despite my un easy, I forced myself to leave the room. I'm just being paranoid. Mike probably had to fight back in self defense. At the same time, when I return to my room, I don't get any sleep. Even the noise that put me puts me on high alert, afraid it might be Mike coming to kill me. Let morning arise without any more deaths. Mike explains to Rita and Frank what happened, and all the while I wonder if he's telling the truth. At least it's over for this year, anyway. No, this one. The one without going. Uh, I'll stay here. The rest of us sit around and wait anxious for Rita to return. We might as well get started while we wait. Does anyone have reason to suspect someone of being possessed? I don't really know what's going on, but since two people went missing, isn't it likely to be one of them? Good point. <sighs> Do you really think one of them is possessed, though? You were with them last. I know you just met them, but was either of them acting unusual? I guess Joseph was. He seemed really nervous, and then he disappeared and never came back. <laughs> so that's what Willow went looking for. Yeah, and I went upstairs to find the rest of you. Huh. Let's see if Rita learns anything. That should help. We wait. And wait. Uh, I don't want to be a downer, but I don't think she's coming back. <laughs> I'll go find out what happened to them. That really a good idea? Mike stands up and draws his gun. I'll be fine. The rest of you, wait here. If I don't return, stay here and keep your guard up. Right. Then he leaves. The room isn't that far away, so he shouldn't take too long. We wait another wait together in tense silence. If Mike disappears too, I don't know what we'll, what we'll do. Staying here will seem like we're just waiting to be killed. <laughs> then a gunshot rolls out. That can't be good. Oh, it's probably Mike shooting though. After a few minutes, Mike returns. What happened? Yep. What happened? Wow, okay. Joseph was hiding in there. He tried to ambush me from the looks of things. He ambushed Rita first. I found Willow's body too. Joseph killed them? I'm afraid so. And he would have killed me. I had to shoot him dead to stop him. <laughs> yeah, guess that answers that question then. This place is nuts. You're telling me. 
<laughs> At least we're free of the curse. The rest of us can relax. I'll give y'all rooms for the night, free of charge. Right. Is it really that easy? Joseph is dead, so no one needs to worry about the curse now. I, as promised, Frank gave us some rooms, uh, but I can't sleep. But I can't sleep even after I'd locked the door at that point of my night. If Joseph had been able to overpower Mike, he might have killed us all one by one. The thought keeps me through the through most of the night. When morning comes, I feel like I haven't gotten any sleep. At least I'm still alive, though. What if they're dead? Don't even say it. I don't want to think about it either, but... Well, I suppose we ought to take a look. I hope they're all right. The brat out one. You knew? Yes. Why didn't you say anything? Uh, he said people wouldn't understand if we tried to explain. You mean she was possessed? He thought so, anyway. And you? I... don't know. Willow, possessed. It's possible, but given Joseph's erratic behavior, I have to wonder if it's him instead. Uh, possessed or not, Joseph pro is probably a threat to the others in his current state. Why didn't I stop him? What have I done? Well, like it or not, we're stuck in here. Do you think the others will hear us if we shout? With the way this inn is built, not unless they're in the kitchen. They have to eat eventually, right? Yeah. Right. They might even need something from in here. I wonder if Joseph planned for that. I guess we'll just have to wait until we hear activity out there. Right. Rings out. What was that? Someone shooting out there. We wait tense, but nothing else happens. No one comes into the kitchen to hear or cries for help. Night falls and we should We're still alone. It's a long and comfortable night. I doubt either of us get any sleep. It's morning. Huh. Someone should come for us soon, right? People will return to town, and they should be able to break into the inn to get us all out. We wait. At least we hear sounds of activity in the kitchen. Hey! We're in here! The sounds outside then grow... In here! I think the voice came from behind that door! Oh, Officer Mike! And... Uh, I just moved into town. We met yesterday. You did? Sorry, it must have slipped my mind. A anyway, what happened to you two? <laughs> Joseph locked us in. Joseph did? Not the stranger Vinny? Why would Vinny have locked us in? He's the only other one who survived. Only other one that survived? Wow. Uh. I do want to see what happens if I stop him. Willow, look out! She turns to a responsible warning just in time to duck as Joseph swings the hammer at her head. What, what are you doing? Joseph just glares at Is me. It you then? Are you the one? Is it both of you? That doesn't even make sense. I don't care. It's got to be one of you. Please stop. No one is possessed. No one. Stop saying that. He 
He tackles her to the ground and she screams. No! I race towards them and reach them just as Joseph slams his hammer into the skull. Skull. Stop! Despite desperate I try to stop pull him off her. He turns with a crazed snarl snarl and swings the bloody hammer at my throat. I fall I'm back. Not going to die here! Calm down. Just calm down. It's haunted my nightmares for years. Trapped in this town on Halloween. Being another victim of that dead madman! Not this time. No, I'm not dying here! I'm getting out of this alive! Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Yay, got a new picture. <laughs> he lunges at me. I throw myself backwards and look around desperately for something I can use to defend myself. At least my gaze lands on the inn's cash box. It looks heavy enough to do some damage if I can't hit him with it. But any blow hard enough to knock him out might kill him instead. Oh cool, I got a new outcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, for now, let's do this. I grab the cash box. It's heavy and I struggle a little under the weight. Just, I'm just strong enough to lift it over my head. Wow, damn, she's got some strength in I'm her. I'm warning you. Don't come any closer. I won't let it happen. He lunges forward again. I slam the cash box down on his head with all my strength. He makes a choking sound and collapses to the ground like a puppet with its strings cut. A scream rings out from the staircase. I whirl around to look at the stairs. Rita is in front, followed by Vinny, a man in the police room in front of an older man who they're helping. All four of them stare at me in all horror. I stand frozen above Joseph's body, the bloody cash box in my hands. I can explain. I think you'd better. I'm Officer Mike. I'm with the police. Yes, I figured that much out from the uniform. Thank you. Joseph went crazy. He thought Willow was... Willow? I dropped a cash box and run to where Willow and Joseph had been struggling. She lays on the ground, with blood pulling around her head. I reach out to check her pulse, but I can already tell I won't find one. Willow? Willow's dead too? Um, I get my feet and turn to face them. He thought she was possessed. He killed her. I tried to stop him and he tried to kill me too, so I fought back. I had no choice. The horror of what happened crashes in into me and I begin. She... I didn't want to do it. And Willow. Willow. She was the one who wanted us all to... Us to all work together, and now she's dead. <laughs> all right, try to stay calm. Who can stay calm at a time like this? What sort of crazy place have I ended up in? <laughs> you and me both. Frank has the keys. He can get us out of here. 
Everyone just stay calm until we get the door open. Mm. Frank, that must be the old man. Vinny and Mike help Frank over to the door and blah 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 blah. What did you people do? Something wrong. It's not locked. You broke it. Excuse me? Oh, I tried the key. Nothing happened. The door is broken. <sighs> focus. I need to focus on a terrible place. Okay. This might be another outcome thing. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yep. Uh, okay. It's absolutely possible. The timing here is the curious thing. Yeah. The doll was fine until you came in. <laughs> Then, someone sabotaged the lock once we were already inside. Oh. Yes, that's likely, although... Let me guess, more bad news? I've seen enough over the years to make me believe the curse is real. You mean it could have been one of us? One of us could have waited until the others were distracted, and then sabotaged the lock. How? She looks straight at me. Why oh. are you looking at me? Two of us are already dead! We left them alone with you and... I told you what happened! We only have your word for it that it was self-defense and that he killed Willow! You literally saw me just attack him. <laughs> I, uh, you think mm. I killed her? I suggest we all sit down and talk this over calmly. Calmly? Two of our friends are dead! <laughs> Turning against one another at a time like this is the easiest way to fall victim to the curse. The best thing we can do is keep an eye on one another until morning comes. You lost the lands, common area, and sit down. After I mow, the rest of us do the same. Oh, great. Yeah, I can feel suspicious stares at me. From not only Vita, but Vinny and Frank as well. Oh, Jesus Christ. This must look pretty bad. What am I going to do? So we need to talk about what happened. It's her. It has to be her. I told you Joseph killed Willow and tried to kill me. Exactly what the possessed one would say when caught in the act. Okay. <laughs> you must understand how suspicious this looks. <laughs> you really all think I'm possessed? It's just our theory right now. What are you going to do? Nothing. What? If no one tries anything, nothing needs to be done. As long as we keep an eye on each other for the rest of the night, nothing can go wrong. Okay, now this time I'm, I'm the prime suspect. Okay, I see how it is. You've gotta be kidding me. We're all just gonna sit here with the murderer and hope we don't fall asleep. Oh, come on, man. I'm not a murderer! Did you have a better idea? Yeah, we lock her up somewhere. That way the rest of us will be safe. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Off to six now. Great. I'm gonna go with no way, because I don't like that idea. Stupid. Oh, is there something you want to do that you can't do if you're locked up? <laughs> oh my god. You have no right to lock me up. That's enough. We'll go with my original plan. You're nuts. I will not fall asleep during the night. You have my word. Fine, whatever. I hope everyone is comfortable. We're gonna be sitting here all night long. <laughs> oh my god, this is insane. I barely sleep at all during the night. A few moments and I rest. Moments of rest I do manage are filled with nightmares. <laughs> my saw. Shallow sleep 
is soon disturbed by movement. What's going on? One of the others have gotten up. Vinny. I know as he has a gun pointed at me at the same time I see Officer Mike reach into his own, but it's too late. Vinny's gun fires. Wow, okay. Pain wipes away the rest of the world. And then there's nothing. Katie died. Yep. <laughs> My God. Okay. So that's another outcome. Okay. Wow. God, I look terrible, dead. <laughs> I think that's enough for today. I don't have a lot of time left. So I'm going to end it here. So for now, that's going to be uh, it for this one. Don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so we can reach 40 subscribers. Yeah. And if you don't, Potion Care will not give you any candy. Yeah, meow, 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 meow.